dietetic intern. My name is Alina Vishkova. I was born in Novokuznetsk, Russia, and I moved to Vancouver when I was just five years old, and that's where I grew up with my family. I started my nutrition degree at UBC, and then I decided to pursue my dream at Acadia because I had a higher chance of getting an internship on the East Coast. And since then, I completed my master's degree at Mount St. Vincent University. I faced many challenges to get here. Moving across the country was definitely one of them, leaving my family, all my friends behind. The most challenging thing I've ever had to do in my life was get this internship. But it's doable. Just the stress of applying every single year and having to get new references and finding more volunteer experience and just not having the support from all your classmates that are competing with you in order to get this. It, I really wanted to create this blog because I found that it's really hard to find any anything that could really show you about what the internship is like. You hear about you need to do this in order to become a dietitian and every one of us that is passionate about that really really wants this but they really don't know what they're getting themselves into just like I don't really but what is it really like what is it like every week how is each week just as challenging as the next one or I imagine where I'm gonna deal with new challenges every day let alone every week how what am I gonna learn this week or next week and I want to be able to share those experiences with you and I want you to figure out whether the internship is really right for you because we don't hear about the interns that end up realizing that this isn't what they want to do and then they don't end up completing it. You can find out right now if this is actually what you want to do if you're willing to work for it and maybe I'll help answer some of your questions. Next 47 weeks I don't know what they're gonna be like. I know I'm gonna learn a lot, and I know I'm gonna grow as a person and a professional, but I have no idea the types of people I'm gonna meet and how they're gonna impact my life. I just know it's, uh, it's gonna go by really quickly. I am gonna be doing my internship with the Nova Scotia District Health Authority. I know that it's a really great place to be. I know I'm gonna get a lot of clinical experience, that I'm really excited about and I really hope to at least make an impact on even if it's one life that will be a success for me. Um, I had a lot of positive influences in my journey. My parents really supported my move across the country. My strategy? Can, can I really have a strategy? I'm just gonna, gonna be as efficient as possible yet find time to manage my stress, um, meditate. <laughs> I'm also gonna make sure to have my meals planned out so that I stay on a healthy eating schedule despite being really busy. I'm most looking forward to finishing the internship and having my little diploma because I'm a registered dietitian. I feel like that's what all of us really strive for. <laughs> I am nervous about time. I'm going to be working two to three days a week uh, at a restaurant. I'm going to be taking uh, Bandit, my miniature poodle, to dog training classes. One night a week, I'm going to be working at the Dartmouth Sportsplex uh, for a class, Girl Power Fitness, that I'll be teaching once a week. And I will be doing this vlog every week. So, and finding time to stay healthy and exercise and meditate. So that's probably what I'm most worried about. Advice that I have for getting to this point. It's really hard to say because I feel like if I hadn't gotten the internship this year, I just would have been so crushed. And I almost didn't. And I just... I don't know if I would have tried applying again when I felt like I've already invested so much energy. I would, I would have to say that you just shouldn't give up on yourself and you really shouldn't let this internship define who you are. If you, if you, if this is what you're passionate about, you will end up working with others and with food in one capacity, one way or another, but just 
keep up with the daily grind, but also make time for your for yourself and really think about what makes you happy. And I hope to help. And I want you to figure out if this is right for you. So the internship starts tomorrow. Big day. Um, a lot of mixed feelings. Very excited. Nervous. Excited. And I'm just really excited. I can't wait to see what I'm gonna learn and what I'm gonna be able to share in the next episode. So make sure you watch me next week. Episodes will come out every Sunday and uh, I'm gonna talk about what my week looked like, something I learned, and what's on my plate. So make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching!